All right there. I'm saying hi from TJSI Gaming. I wanted to give a little review for this game called Wrecking Ball Adventures. I think this is an adorable game. Um, obviously, I've played through a lot of it. How do I... Yeah. So let's go to a place. Let's go to the beginning first. And I do not know. I mean, it's been a few months, so I don't quite remember all of the buttons, but I'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Aha, there you go. So, for where I am, the A button, if you hold it, you, uh, you start spinning, which gives you a good amount of momentum, depending on which way you are holding the control stick. So see, I... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So the control stick gives you your momentum no matter what. The A button is mainly a jump type button. Oh, goodness. Did not expect that. Okay. Kind of wanted to go up. I don't know that I'm getting back up there. Aww. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, sure. Oh, I got a checkpoint, okay. <laughs> it's a little wild. Okay. You're welcome. You, you can get some cool momentum. So my favorite part of this game is the momentum, which is quite finicky, but I feel like it's almost always satisfying. Oh, that was cool. Now, one of my favorite parts of the game is when you start uh, using like a grapple hook. And I haven't seen an opportunity to do that yet. That might be in the second level. This is just teaching you the momentum mechanics. Okay. I don't really understand how to do it consistently. I'm just having fun. Hold L to self-destruct. Does that send me back to the checkpoint? Yeah. I guess sometimes you need to use the checkpoint. Hey look, I, <laughs> I went through that way. Okay. Oh. I would love that thing. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh yeah, okay, doesn't look like I can do anything up there. Glad I wasted my time uh, playing a fun game. <laughs> so I wanna go to the second floor. Did I mention that the momentum mechanics are finicky? There we go. So this is also fun with a friend, if you're playing two player. Um, there's some puzzles that are, <laughs> that you can kind of cheese you, uh, by having a second player there. But I 
think this is the sort of game where, that I can get a lot of fun out of. I don't know about everyone. Oh, let's get that checkpoint, actually. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let me check. Rope length. How do you hook? Okay, hook up. Hook right. Okay, so X is going to be the hook button. Whenever it... Oh, there's another thing up there. Crap. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, that was just a shortcut of some sort? Okay. <gasps> no, I wanted that! No! That's like a super, a super collectible. Game's already poisoned me. Let's see if I can get it this time. Nope, too high. Oh yeah. I think that thing is the self-destruct button that I keep almost hitting. Um, oh crud. I guess I'm not going to get it. Uh, yeah, I don't really know the story of the game, but... Gosh, I'm, ne I'm never a lore person on the first playthrough. I usually get that stuff on, like, a second playthrough. Okay... Uh, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get that. Do, do, do. Ah, I don't even need you. Can I do it? Yeah. Uh, and let's get up here. Okay, well, I guess we're not gonna do that. Oh, okay, I reached the exit. <laughs> yeah, some of the levels are shorter than others. Some of them are a little longer. I don't know that there's a... It's not a perfect balance in from what I remember. But, um... I'm definitely in... I... Yeah. I definitely like this game. Trying to remember how to hook, which is one of my favorite parts of the game. It looked like it was X. Jump. Hook up and hook left. Okay. Hook right. It's all X. I think you should be able to hook on to some of these platforms. Man, I feel like a Dumbo. Oh. All right. That's where you get the hook, I guess. Boy, oh boy, do I love momentum games. So, you've seen some red surfaces around here. Those are the surfaces that you can't hook onto. Um, but basically all of the yellow lit up surfaces, you should be able to hook onto. So I guess there, <laughs> you had to get to the third level to enable the hook, whatever. I accept that. So here's the best part of the game, in my opinion. Again, it can be a little finicky, but you can adjust your rope length. Oop. Yeah, that sound is when I can't quite 
uh, hook onto something, but I've been trying. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. And I'm going to skip those. What does this take me to? That's the entrance, isn't it? LOL. Okay. Ah, you got a star. So there's the exit. Oh my gosh. All right. There's some more buttons I gotta get. Nice. I think those little star collectibles are what determines how many stars you get in a level. Okay, so there's one of them. Is it just the one? And it's just on a timer. Come on. Nice. So I think I'll stop there. Maybe go to the like level that I left off on however long ago. I had a lot of fun with this game. It's simple. I think it's kind of cool. I love momentum. I think video game donkey said it, uh, said it best when he said, Put a grappling hook, put a grappling hook in every game. I think it was after Uncharted had a grappling hook. He got real excited about that. And then Halo Infinite, I want to say. Oh, that's a bouncy surface. Halo Infinite had a grappling hook that, about which he was very, very pleased. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that looks like the end. Oh, oops. Okay, man, I was doing great before. Sure. There we go. <laughs> Man, I almost got to the end, and now I can't uh, quite manage anything close to that. Okay. Oh, golly. Can I do it? Oh, yeah. So it gets harder and harder as they add in different uh, platforming mechanics. I don't know if you can call this a platformer. It's a very weird feeling platformer. I like how unique it is. And um, they add in hazards is the word I was looking for with the fire and the lasers and uh, fire lasers. I mean, there was already lava in like the first two stages. So I didn't really add that in later, but yeah, it gets harder and harder, and um, it's just a really interesting game that if you like momentum-based games with uh, optional collectibles at the wazoo, it's a... Uh, oh, that is a... That's red. Okay. Um, let's do up here. Oh, okay. And this is a bouncy surface, so you can't just roll off. Okay, does that go off and on? Or is there a button I'm supposed to find? 
I mean, I guess I'll I'll take points off for that because I feel like it's hard. I haven't figured it out at least how to tell <clears throat> how to tell when something turns on and off and when there's a button I need to find. Yeah, I'm just trying to go luck lucko mode. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's a funny uh, gimmick for a level. LOL. Oh, how did I live that? Um, oh, and I guess the game taunts you sometimes. In line with a... Has a very Portal-esque atmosphere. Oh, poo. Okay. Well, I don't think I'll beat this one right now. But, you know, the, the sci-fi feeling of Portal mixed with the odd game mechanic all throughout. Yeah, I think this is like a... Uh, has a similar... Oh, goodness. That just appeared. Similar atmosphere to Portal. Nowhere near as refined or hilarious or groundbreaking storytelling. Just, uh, just a similar atmosphere. Oh. I made it over here. Can I go down there? Doesn't really, oh goodness, no, no. Oh, I could have. How funny. They're not nice. Oh my goodness. I guess I can grapple onto those. That's good to know. I didn't want to grapple onto that, but okay. I guess that's the point. How did that not work? Okay. Stay, stay, stay. Okay. Can I go through here? It's green. Isn't that a good sign? <laughs> All right, I think I'm done. But uh, yeah, Wrecking Ball Adventures, for what it's trying to do, um, you know, it's very rough around the edges, but it's a fun physics-based game with puzzles and collectibles and short little levels that you can spend a lot of time on or you can spend just a little time on if you just want to go straight for the exit. Um, it's $4.99 on the eShop. I'm sure that I got it on sale like a... 50% off sale or something like that. That's usually why I buy these fun little indie games on the eShop. It's by No Gravity Games. I think it's a fitting name. <laughs> a fitting name for the publisher. I think it's a lot of fun for what it's trying to be. It's a... Uh, I think it does it. I think it achieves what it's trying to do by being a, a physics-based, momentum-based puzzle game. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I died that way, interesting, okay. Let's give this thing... Um, Gosh, for what it's trying to be, four out of five. It works. It really works. Four out of five. Bouncy surfaces. I get it, you're bouncy. 
Oh, goodness. Okay. Is this on a timer? Oh, crack. Oh, you can go through this, though. Oh, my goodness. See? I was right about this being a button. Crud. If this is on a timer, I'm going to be so sad. <gasps> oh my gosh. Please don't turn on. Ugh. Okay, on that, I'm definitely leaving. Thank you. Have a good day. This is TJ Saya Gaming, and my outro today is... Blah, 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 blah.